Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Redneck channel. My name is Dave. Today we start putting our engine back together. Uh, have our pieces here from the uh, engine shop, so we'll uh, unwrap the block, do a quick inspection, and the uh, first thing we'll do is put in our sleeves. After a quick inspection, everything looks as it should with the solder block. So the first thing we'll do is test fit the sleeves and check the standout. <coughs> to test fit, we don't put in the uh, O-rings, the sealing rings inside. Uh, we just put the sleeve in dry by itself and make sure that it fits like it's supposed to. There we are. The standout of the cylinder sleeve is how much it sticks up beyond the top surface of the block. We'll uh, fit all our sleeves in and then check them all. You'll notice when I'm putting the sleeves in, when there's any resistance, I don't get my fingers around the edge here. You could lose your fingerprints. Put your hand flat on top and just give it an easy push. And those sit all in nicely. To check the stand out, you want to use a good straight edge and a feeler gauge. Uh, the feeler gauge works basically as a no-go no gauge. Uh, specs call for between three and seven thousandths. Uh, so the 3000 gauge should pass and the 7000 shouldn't. Put the straight edge firmly on top of the cylinder. And yep, that's the 3000, it passes easily. Let's check that one. That's fine enough. That one don't go. That one. That one does. That one does. This one is causing a little trouble. We're going to check, make sure everything's clean. dirt right there. I can see a little spot of dirt left right in here. Uh, usually the acid bath gets everything but there's a little bit left right here. And that's why we check. Check this one again, make sure it falls within spec. There we are. There. That was just a little bit of dirt holding it up. We can put our O-rings in now. Uh, you want to lubricate them before we put them in. And we don't use oil, because oil eats rubber. Dish soap. Just a little dab in your hands. And that goes down in the ring, in the groove in the bottom of the block.
And the same on the cylinder. We'll lubricate that where it slides by the O-ring. Soap, dish soap. Just light pressure by hand, and it should turn in. Although this one was there, it goes. Yeah. Nicely in place. So we'll do sleeve number two now. When you put these down in, you want to make sure you get them fully in the groove down there in the block. Don't want any sticking out because it can cut the O-ring. leaves are in place now we can start setting the crank in installing crank we start off with the main bearings uh, thrust bearings on these engines go to the back of the block make sure you line your notch up with the notch in the block and the oil hole with the oil hole in the block. When you place them in, make sure the ends stick up equal amount on each side. Then come the regular the standard bearings. Now we'll make sure our bearings are clean. All the surfaces in here that we're going to be using. And we want to give them a nice coat of oil. Want to make sure everything is good and clean before you set the crank in. Reach in, you just carefully set it in place. There. The main bearing caps are numbered. On one side, you can see it's got a raised portion, and the numbers are stamped in on the cam side of the block. It's numbered for where the main caps go. Number goes towards number. So again, we make sure everything is clean. The locking tab on the bearing goes in the notch on the cap. They'll stick out a little bit on each side, make sure it's relatively even.
in this set the bearings and the cap don't have the oil hole some sets both sides have the oil hole just depends on the day Now I'm just going to lightly snug these up just so that they're all down flush before I torque them into place. Torque specs for these engines call for 80 to 85 foot pounds on the uh, main bolts main bearing caps. Um, I'm going to do that in two steps. I'm going to set it at about 50 and then go to around 82. They're all at 50, so now I'll bring them up to 82. Turns nice and freely. That concludes uh, part five of our video series. Uh, the first step in putting our engine back together. Hope you all are enjoying the video series. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below, along with requests to uh, see anything specific uh, as we go along the way. As always, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Have a great day.